Move up, please. Move up, please. Move back, move back, please. Move back. I'm honored to be here on this holy day to pay my respects and show my solidarity with the Muslim community from New York to New Zealand and beyond. The horrific terror attack in Christchurch took place exactly one week ago. Our hearts remain heavy with grief and sympathy for the families of the victims. The attack was utterly appalling, and yet, as many have noted, perhaps not utterly surprising. Around the world, we have seen ever-rising anti-Muslim hatred, anti-Semitism, hate speech, and bigotry. I have repeatedly warned about those dangers. Hate speech is spreading like wildfire. Social media is being exploited as a platform for bigotry. And public discourse is being cursed. Many political movements are either openly admitting their neo-Nazi affiliation or lip-syncing their words and cutting and pasting the symbols and images. That cancer is spreading, and it is our duty to find the cure. That's what Islam taught me. We have four I know this community, as many others around the world, is hurting and feeling vulnerable. And I salute efforts such as those by Mayor de Blasio and New York police leaders who came here last Friday with a message of support, solidarity and security. We need to act against extremism in all its forms, whether it targets mosques, synagogues, churches or anywhere else. Creating those in bondage and being steadfast in misfortune and adversity. I am making a global call to reaffirm the sanctity of all places of worship and the safety of all worshippers who visit revered sites in a spirit of compassion and tolerance. People everywhere must be allowed to observe and practice their faith in peace. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, can we just give them some yes. Yes. I ask the Alliance of Civilizations to reach out to governments and faith-based organizations, religious leaders and others, and explore actions to prevent these attacks and guarantee the sanctity of religious sites. Mosques and all places of prayer and contemplation should be safe havens, not sites of terror. Worshippers must feel safe to worship. Today and every day, we must stand united against anti-Muslim hatred and all forms of bigotry. And so I'm here today with a heavy and full heart to say to this community and to all others feeling targeted, you are not alone, the world is with you, the United Nations with you, with you, and I am with you. The director from Sudan. Oh, very nice. Very nice to meet you. We have the international.